If you're a little too busy over the holidays to get to the gym, you have no more excuses after this morning. Celebrity Fitness Instructor Seven Boggs from Valley Total Fitness is joining us this morning to show us all how to fit a sneaky workout into any holiday routine. You really are eliminating all excuses this morning. <laughs> Absolutely, there is no excuse. You can incorporate fitness anywhere, any place. It doesn't matter if you're in the office or if you're shopping or if you're walking down the street. You can do exercise anywhere. And every little bit adds up and every little bit counts. So this is Absolutely. good for us. So we're gonna start off with shopping, uh -huh. walking around the mall. Let's you can't just leave it at walking bags. around the mall. Well, well, let's say that you're at the mall and yep. you have been doing an enormous amount of shopping. Yes, like we have As today. We do this time of year. These are all of our Christmas gifts. All the bags. So here we are going to get a shoulder workout. Believe it or not, you can work out your shoulders with just shopping bags. Okay. So now let's pretend we're walking down the mall. We're going right. to hold the bags far out to our sides. Imagine we had like ten or five bags on each hand. Right. And we're going to walk. And holding those arms out, you're going to automatically engage your shoulder muscles, which is this area right here. And you're here. kind of pulling in your core a little bit too, Absolutely. so you don't fall You're going to suck over. in your abdominal area, and you're going to also make sure that your, your spine is upright. Yep. So now, let's turn our palms out. Oof. With this one, you can either go up and down, yep. and these will be bicep curls, okay. so you're actually working out your arms, the front these of your These are really arms. heavy shopping bags, by the way. <laughs> it was on purpose. I got the lighter I one, FYI. But let's say you want to be really sneaky about your workout. You don't want anyone to really notice. If you hold your bags in this position in a 90-degree angle, this is called an isometric contraction. So even though you're not really moving, these muscles are still engaged, and right. they're still doing And I can really work. feel it there, too, could, so just by holding right? it like this and walking mm -hmm. around. And you okay. can do it with your purse or the shopping bags as well. Okay. Okay, now, so there's one idea. There's one down, and so here's another one. Let's say you're stuck in the office all day, yep. or wherever you have the opportunity of taking stairs, you should always, always try to stairs, right? always take the stairs. Don't take the elevator. Don't be lazy. And what we're going to do is, let's say we're walking up the stairs. We want to try to get a lower body workout. So one way is, instead of taking step by step as norm as usually we do, we're going to skip a step and use the heel of our foot to really engage our hamstrings and our glute muscles. So if muscles. you're walking up at work and you have heels on and we did this on purpose and I yes. just want to make sure I put my whole foot on Ooh, oh right <laughs> but real stirrups then you don't surfing. move that way so not your foot not your toe first though that's right no you want to press okay. with the heel first and be very firm when you actually step up and the this reason you lockdown, are in your office attire stepping on it yeah, yeah the, yes exactly there's um the reason you are in the office attire is because it, most American people are either working or, right. or shopping in their in their heels and that and kind you of can thing do it anyway let's say you want to do a brisk cardio workout yep. you can run up the steps all the same just take a brisk step um, walking up really quick and using the toe of your foot instead of the so heel. So when you do the run, so you do the toe. You, yes. That I can do. And that's going to really engage your quads and your calves as well. Okay. So now let's say that you are at home. You're stuck all day. You're cooking for the family. It's holiday time. And you've so... You've got sauce. <laughs> you've got your sauce. But first thing we're going to do is we're yep. going to load the refrigerator. Okay. So let's pretend that right in front of us is our refrigerator. Right. And we have to put our groceries into the mm -hmm. refrigerator. We're going to put ourselves in a squatting position. Okay. So our feet are going to be hip width apart. With the part. Our knees are going to be pointing the same direction of yep. our toes. And now we're going to go into a deep squat, keeping your back upright. Perfect squat. Okay. Who taught you that? I wonder who taught me. Could it have been seven? <laughs> I wonder. So now we're going to load the, the refrigerator yep. one shelf at a time, in. coming up slowly oh, as okay. we load each shelf. Now, in this, this situation, exactly, you start feeling the front of your thighs yeah. trembling and the muscles are kicking in. So again, let's say you're doing one uh, item at a time. Right. Same thing. You want to take it up one Quite notch at up. a time. Now, here's one of my favorite ones, and we did this at the gym with a medicine ball. Yep. <laughs> and this is where it really kicks in for the entire body. Let's say you're at home and you, you're in the kitchen, you're cooking for the family, everybody's coming over. Now we're got, you've got your prego sauce. Yep. I've got my, got my can. Tomatoes. So we're gonna go down into a squat, bring the can between our legs, and make sure our back is upright, our abs are tight, Kay. and then we're gonna go above our heads and down. Above. And this way, we're working out all of these muscles right here right. that really lean out the waist. We're working out our ham our quads, our hamstrings, and our entire body's actually engaged. We've got it all. Oh, <laughs> I hate it when you don't give me any excuses, but I appreciate it all the same. Seven Boggs, thanks. Good to have My you here. Pleasure. For more on the sneaky holiday workouts, you can find them at our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.